Okay, exercise 165, page 419, question number 5. Uh, let u equal 3 times the square root of theta cubed. So I'd have to rewrite that, u equals 3 times theta to the 3 over 2, because the square root means there's a 2 underneath in the fraction. Differentiating this, we get 3 times 3 over 2 theta, 3 halves take away 1 is 1 half. Tidying this up, we get 9 over 2 theta to the half. So du by d theta equals 9 over 2 theta to the half. V equals 2 sine 2 theta. So dv by d theta, two, bring the 2 out, 2 times 2 is 4, sine changes to cosine 2 theta. So now putting these into the quotient rule, we get dy by dx equals <coughs> v, which is 2 sine 2 theta, times du by dx, or du by d theta in this case, which is 9 over 2 theta to the half, minus u, which is 3 theta to the 3 over 2, dv by d theta, which is 4 cos 2 theta. Uh, 4 cos 2 theta, all over v squared, which is 2 sine 2 theta, all squared. So this equals Oh goodness. Uh, we can, if we look at the first term, tidying up, we can see the twos cancel, top and bottom. So that just gives us nine theta to the half, two theta. Sine two theta minus three times four is twelve. Theta to the 3 over 2 cos 2 theta all over. Now squaring this, 2 squared is 4 sine squared 2 theta using that convention for the square. We can factorize, we can take Ah, yes, no, thinking about, thinking about this one for a minute, we can take theta to the half and 9 outside. Let's see why, if we think about this, so if I take rewrite this as 9 theta to the half for a minute, sine 2 theta, minus, I can think of this as 12 theta times theta to the half. If you look at that in a minute, you can see that theta times theta to the half is theta to the 1 plus a half, which is 1 and a half, or 3 over 2, cos 2 theta, all over 4 sine squared 2 theta. I wouldn't probably bother to write that intermediate step, but the reason why I've done that is because we can now see that we can take not only a number that's common to 9 and 12, which is 3, but also theta to the half outside a bracket, leaving 3 sine 2 theta minus 4 theta cos 2 theta all over 4 sine squared 2 theta. And so rewriting in third form, we get dy by d theta finally equals 3 theta to the half is the square root of theta, i.e. third form, brackets 3 sine 2 theta minus 4 theta cos 2 theta all over 4 
sine squared 2 theta. So that was not an easy one. This is the uh, awkward step here, isn't it? This splitting theta to 3 over 2 equal to theta times theta to the half. As an aside over here, theta to the 3 over 2 you can think of as theta to the 1 plus a half, if you like. And of course that, could, because we're adding the powers, we can turn that into theta to the 1 times theta to the half, which gives us what we've got. There. So that's use of the laws of indices.